Hello and welcome to this basic how-to networking video, or as I like to call it, Networking 101. I am always asked if there's an easy way to remember networking. To help remember everything, I like to use the analogy of a small town. There are similarities between the two, and during the next few minutes you will learn how to set up your own home network, and this will help you regardless if you are using a router or if you wish to set up your workgroup manually. Just like a town, you will need to decide your town name. This will be the workgroup name. It could be anything you like, but all computers on your network will need to have this same name. To be able to talk to other computers on your network, they will need to have unique names. So let's look at how we can set this up. Under Windows XP, click on Start, then right mouse click on My Computer and choose Properties. Click on the Computer Name tab at the top, then click on the Change button. I like to keep my computer name simple, usually depending on what they do or who is using them, like Jukebox or Jim's PC. Try to keep them short. Type in a workgroup name, again something simple, even just the word workgroup. Just remember, all computers must have the same workgroup name. Click on OK and the computer will welcome you to the workgroup and will want to restart. Under Vista and Win 7 the steps are a little different. You will still need to right click on Computer and choose Properties, but you will have a slightly different screen. Choose the Advanced System Settings on the left panel, then choose the Computer Name tab at the top, and then the Change button. Now you are able to change the computer and workgroup names. All computers need an address, an IP address. Think of it as a house address, and the subnet would be considered your zip code. If you are using a router, these steps will be taken care of for you. If you are having a problem connecting to your network, check the next settings first. Under Windows XP, we will need to get to the control panel and choose Network Connections. When this window opens, you will need to right-click on your LAN adapter and choose Properties. Highlight the Internet Protocol TCP IP in the center box and then click on the Properties button. If you are using a router, the Obtain an IP address automatically and the Obtain DNS server automatically should already be selected. If a manual setup is preferred, you will need to fill in the Use the following sections. Make sure the gateway and DNS server IP address matches your router. Most routers by default give out addresses 192.168.1.1. 100 through 150. If you want a static address that does not change, use a number outside of that router's range. To find these settings under Vista and Win 7, go to the control panel and choose the Network and Internet heading. Choose the Network and Sharing Center by clicking on it. In the far left column, choose the Change Adapter settings. Now you can right mouse click on the local area connection and choose Properties. Highlight the Internet Protocol version 4, then click on the Properties button. Now we have the same window that we looked at under XP. Now you should be able to see the other computers on your network. All that is left is to share a folder or two or a printer and we will leave that for another video. Thank you.